Let's talk all about jeans. Today I am finally doing the long-awaited review of the Abercrombie Curve Love Denim. If you haven't heard of the Curve Love range before, essentially they are jeans that have an extra two inch in the hips and thigh region. So supposedly for people who have a small waist and bigger hips and thighs, they should fit you better than regular jeans. And hopefully they mitigate the issue of having that waist gap that's annoying when you find jeans that fit your hips but are too big in the waist or the other way around where they fit on the waist but they're too tight on the hips, thighs. So I'll leave my measurements on screen for reference. I have about a 30 inch waist and I have about a 13 inch difference between my waist and my hips. So I definitely have that body type where I have a fairly small waist and then bigger hips and thighs. So these jeans should in theory fit me really well and I should be a good candidate for them. I'm five foot five, so I'm a very average height. So I got all of the jeans today in a regular length, but they do offer short lengths and long lengths. And sometimes in some of them, they also offer extra short and extra long. So they do also cater to a lot of different heights as well, which I think is really great. But you will see from the try on that the different styles do come up quite different in the length, even though I got them all in the regular length. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So the first style I'm gonna talk about is the 90s relaxed jeans. So these are kind of what it says on the tag. They're a 90s style, they're more relaxed through the leg. So they're a looser jean, but they're not super baggy like a wide leg or a loose jean, which we will get onto in a second. They're almost like a looser version of a straight leg. Um, they do offer a 90s high rise straight leg, which are very similar to the 90s relaxed, but they are a little bit more narrow through the calf. I went with the relaxed because I generally prefer that looser look, especially because I have bigger legs anyway. So sometimes if a jean is a straight leg, it can actually end up being a skinny jean on me. So I, I definitely prefer the relaxed style. These I got in three different washes. You will see it from the try on Eclipse. They are definitely a high rise. They're not an ultra high rise. I know Abercrombie do some jeans that are ultra high rise. These are a high rise. They're definitely not the highest rise of jeans I've ever tried. They're not a super, super high rise. So if you're really dedicated to only wearing like the highest of rises, I wouldn't recommend these, but they're like a standard high rise if you're not too bothered otherwise. The fit is really good. So in the 30 inch, I ordered some of these in a 29 and some of them in a 30. Now, sometimes I've got a 30 inch waist. Sometimes I'll go for a 30 and that fits fine. Sometimes I will size up to a 31, but because these are the curve love jeans and they have that additional room in the hips and thighs already, I didn't feel the need to size up because I figured that my true size should in theory fit me fine. So I went with either a 30 inch or a 29 inch because according to Abercrombie, both of those sizes equate to a UK 12. Obviously the 29 is just ever so slightly smaller. So you can see in this style, the 30 inch fit me the best. The 29 are just too tight. I can do them up, but they're just uncomfortably tight. Whereas the 30 is definitely the right size for me. And the Curve Love style is definitely doing its job. I have plenty of room for my hips and thighs. They still feel loose enough in the hips that they have that intended relaxed look but they fit me really snugly and comfortably in the waist. They're not too tight, they're not too loose. There's no gaping really at the back. They sit really flush to my back, which is really, really hard for me to find in jeans. They almost do feel like they have been tailored and they have been taken in at the waist. So I am actually really impressed with the Curve Love style. Um, these jeans are fairly long, so they're definitely longer than any other jeans I have. You can see I'm five foot five. These are the regular length. With a trainer or with a flat, they definitely puddle over the shoe slightly they're probably just about okay to wear outside you are going to get them a little bit dirty with a heel they are obviously slightly higher up off the floor so you'd be absolutely fine I do think they're the length where they're fine for me I think if you're five foot five or five foot six these are just about going to work for you if you're anything under five foot five though I would go with the short length because otherwise these are just going to be too long unless you get them taken up similarly I think if you're above five foot seven then definitely go for the long but I would say these fit true to size I feel really comfortable in the 30 inch so I would go with the size that is your true waist measurement and hopefully they will fit you really well I do really like the style of them I definitely haven't found a jean like this elsewhere that actually fits me 
in that relaxed intended way so I do like them I like the longer length a longer jean is definitely something I'm gravitating towards more recently I don't really have anything this long in my wardrobe so they're definitely a contender I think I like the lighter wash the best I think this lighter wash just suits this 90s style the most I think it's the jean you see the most in this kind of style it's almost like that model off duty um, light wash dad jean vibe and I do really like it um, so I definitely do recommend these jeans I would say go true to size. I would say if you have similar measurements to me in terms of your proportions, go with the Curve Love version and you're gonna be really pleased with the fit of them. Okay, the next style I tried were the high rise loose jeans. So these are slightly different to the relaxed jeans. I would say they're meant to be slightly looser through the leg all the way down. So rather than being a relaxed jean that is a little bit more fitted in maybe the hip region and then is a little bit more relaxed at the bottom, these are kind of just loose all the way down. And these ones unfortunately don't really come in a blue wash. The only blue wash that I found available had rips in it and I really don't like rips in my jeans. So I only managed to get them in this faded washed out gray black. And I also got them in a slightly more true black, which I'm actually wearing now. So I'll just show you a peek of the color, but obviously I will show you clips of these on as well. So I got the washed out black and I got the true black. Again, I bought these ones in a 29 and a 30 to try and decide which would be best. And then the bl true black ones I've got on now were only available in a 29. So I just bought them in a 29. Now with these ones, the 29 actually fits me best. Um, hopefully I'll do a side by side and you can see that the 30, there's a little bit too much material in the crotch area. It looks a little bit awkward. It doesn't look overly flattering. Whereas the 29 are a really nice fit. They are maybe like a touch too tight in the hips, but they fit well in terms of like getting that really loose look. They, they look a little bit tighter on me than perhaps they would on the model but they fit really comfortably in the waist. Again, the waist at the back sits completely flush. They're really comfortably snug, but not too tight. The length, they're a little bit shorter than the 90s relaxed. Again, these are the regular length on me at five foot five. These are a really nice length in the sense that they're not too long when I've got trainers or flats on. They're a really nice length. I just wish they came in a blue wash that wasn't distressed. Hopefully Abercrombie will add those at some point. Okay, we have one more style to to talk about now these are the high rise curve love these are oh it doesn't say what they're called they're the wide leg jeans i know that so these are the widest leg of them all so the 90s relaxed were the slimmest but they're still they're still a looser leg but slimmer the loose jeans are slightly wider again and then the wide leg jeans are the widest of all so these are kind of a, a really tight fit around the waist and then they are very wide down now these I've also got in a 29. These, these were the only wash and size available. I couldn't try any of these in a 30 at the time I ordered. And the only ones they had in a 29 were this light wash, but they do also come in a darker wash and I think like a washed black as well. These ones are interesting. So these are, these fit me really well in the 29. The 29 for these style, like the loose jeans, are definitely the right size for my waist. They fit beautifully on the waist. Again, there's definitely a common theme throughout this video. Even though I took a bigger size in the relaxed jeans compared to the other two pairs, they all fit really snug on the waist. They're the perfect, it's like they've been tailored, which I am so, so impressed with. So the 29 fit me really well. So I'd say they run slightly bigger than the relaxed jean you could if you're between sizes you could go for your smaller size if you're getting the curve love version that is um but the length is so so long so these are all in the regular length as i said but these wide leg jeans are way longer than the loose jeans and slightly longer than the relaxed jeans these ones unfortunately are just too long for me to wear with flats and that is the only reason i'm not going to be keeping them I do, I could order these in a short length, but I do worry that the short length would be too short. So I guess the alternative would be to keep these ones the regular length and get them taken up. Other than that though, I do actually really like the fit of these. They're definitely a wide leg. They're definitely loose. They fit really nicely on the waist. I don't have any waist gap, which I'm just so amazed by. I don't think I've ever tried a brand of jeans that fit me so well on the waist and I don't have to side up or anything. 
Um, but yeah, the only issues are the length. Now the difference between these and the other two, these are a different material. So these are actually a lot thinner than the others. The others are, I would say, I will check the composition and I'll put all of the compositions in the description box or on the screen. But the other two pairs feel like that rigid denim that has just one or 2% elastane. So you know when you've got like a rigid pair of jeans that feel really quite heavy, quite thick, quite vintage Levi's feeling, but they do have that tiny, tiny bit of stretch. They just give ever so slightly, which I do think you need when you have curves. These ones are actually a different composition entirely. So these are a mixture of cotton and tensile. And if you've ever felt a pair of tensile cotton blend jeans, you'll know what I mean. They don't have that stretch to them, really. They feel pretty rigid, but they feel a lot lighter and a lot thinner than a classic cotton jean. They definitely feel, um, yeah, they're just thinner. I would say they're more comfortable. If you're not a fan of really rigid denim, then and these might be a good option for you because they definitely feel more lightweight, thinner, um, very comfortable. Like I would definitely love to wear these at home, even, you know, lounging about. They feel as comfortable, um, almost as comfortable as like joggers or sweatpants. Um, but they are definitely lighter weight. And I don't know how well they would hold up. I'm kind of more used to that thick rigid denim so i'm not sure i don't know how i feel about the composition but they are really comfortable and again the only reason i'm not keeping them i think is because of that length so that is just something to bear in mind they do come up really really long which i just think is a little bit strange Okay, those are all the pairs I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. You'll have to let me know what you think the best pair are on me down below, whether you would keep any of these or um, what your preferred style is. I will leave all of my sizing information down below in case you wanna check anything. I'll also leave links to all of the pairs I've mentioned today and what I recommend doing in terms of sizing up, sizing down, staying true to size. Um, I will leave different links depending on where you're based because I think Abercrombie has a different website in the UK and in the US. So I'll leave UK links and US links separately. Hopefully that is all helpful for you. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. It really does help my channel out and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. As always, if you have any requests, just leave them in the comments down below. I have done a couple more denim review videos if you're interested. I did a Levi's one a couple of years ago. Ago. I also did an and other stories one so I'll leave those linked for you if you would like to continue watching otherwise I hopefully will see you very soon in my next video bye